Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet, and in today's video, we'll review the latest version of Boss Linux, which is a Debian-based Linux distro developed by CDAC. Now, CDAC, or Center for Development of Advanced Computing, is a premier organization under Government of India, which deals with the latest computer technologies in the country. Now, Boss Linux was developed to replace Windows OS from the computers used in government organization to firstly reduce dependency on Windows and secondly to mitigate the risk involved with using Windows OS. Now, Boss Linux being a Linux distro is less vulnerable by itself, plus it gets regular security updates and patches by CDAC to ensure the system is secure from new vulnerabilities. And another software that ensures your data security and privacy when you go online is IPVanish. IPVanish is a top-rated VPN service having a 5-star rating and a score of 9.4 on top10vpn.com. It is very easy to set up and with just one single click you can get connected to any of the 75 locations available. IPVanish not only encrypts your network traffic but also changes your IP address with the address of their server. So this not only secures your online activity but you can also enjoy popular TV shows, live sports and streaming services like Netflix of that particular place which is a major plus especially in these quarantine times. So sign up for IPVanish today for just $11.99 per month and they also give you a 30 day money back guarantee. And if you like the content of this channel and want to support it, you can buy IPVanish by clicking the link in the description below. All right, now let's get back to Boss Linux. Now the latest version of Boss Linux is version eight called Unnati. Now this is a Hindi word that means advancement. Now it's a Debian based distro and this latest version, version 8, is based on Debian 10 Buster. Now Boss Linux 8 can be downloaded from their website bosslinux.in but do not download the installation image from the home page. This download link points to Boss Linux 7, the previous version. There is some linking issue in the home page. So to download version 8, go to downloads tab at the top and then click on download link under Boss 8. Now as you can see there are three other variants of Boss Linux also which is Edu Boss, specifically made for educational purpose. There's a server edition and Mool for software development purpose. All right, now the installation image size is 3.1 gigs. Now downloading the installation image may take some time depending on the availability of server. When I first started downloading, the speed was really slow and it showed me something like 22 hours to complete. But then next morning, I got pretty good download speed. So this might be an issue for some. And also there's no secondary mirror or torrent download option. This is the only download source and it's also FTP and not HTTP. So many third party advanced downloader may also not support that. All right, now let's talk about the installation. The installation is handled by the Debian installer and you get the same standard option to install. Now let me quickly go through each option one by one for those government official watching this video and who are new to Linux. So after you boot through the Boss Linux DVD, you start the installation by selecting graphic install. You select the language, location, keyboard as American English, and then you create a user account by entering new username and password. Now this is important. This is where somebody who is new to Linux might need little help. Uh, but first, very important disclaimer here. This is just a general installation guide on Boss Linux. I hold no responsibility if you messed up something while following this guide. I highly recommend you contact your technical staff if you are new to all this. All right, now with that said, let's move further. Now here, the easiest way is to choose guided partition. And from here, choose the partition where you want to install Boss Linux. Here, instead of C drive or D drive that you get in Windows, the partitions are listed as SDA1, SDA2. If your computer have multiple hard drives, then each hard drive is represented as SDA, SDB, SDC, and so on. So if you're not really sure about the correct partition, you can get a fair idea by looking at the partition size. Now, after you select the correct partition, click continue. Now here I recommend select all files in one partition. We want to keep things simple here. Having separate partition will complicate things and majority of users do not actually require separate partitions for home or other system folders. Now here you get a summary of the partition option we just selected. Recheck again that you have selected the correct partition so that you don't end up wiping a partition which contains important data. Now guided partition automatically creates a swap partition, which is fine. A swap partition is used as RAM replacement for system with less RAM. We leave it as it is and now select finish partition and write changes to the disk and click continue. Now it again prompts if you are sure that you want to apply changes to the disk. 
by default you have no option selected click on yes and then click continue and that's all the system installation will begin now this will take around 8 to 10 minutes for the complete system to install and once done the last step is to install the bootloader again this is an important step we want to install the grub bootloader to MBR else you'll have a hard time booting to boss Linux now one more important thing here is if you are creating a dual boot configuration with Windows in one partition and boss Linux in another in that case I have made a complete video on how to properly do that I recommend you first watch that video and then proceed now here choose the primary partition of your first hard drive which is SDA and then click continue and that's all the installation is over let the system reboot all right now this is the login screen which is the light DM display manager now the default desktop environment in boss 8 is cinnamon desktop now here we have cinnamon as well as gnome desktop so you have two option here and cinnamon is a great addition if you're new to Linux coming from a Windows OS I recommend you go for cinnamon desktop as it resembles to Windows style of desktop layout all right now this is the cinnamon desktop of boss Linux this particular desktop is version 3.8 which is a two year old release the latest version of cinnamon is 4.6 which you get in the current release of Linux Mint but this is expected because first it's a Debian based system Debian gives highest priority to provide a stable desktop experience so all the softwares go through a thorough testing process before it makes its way to the final release second this distro again gets refined by boss Linux team at CDAC which again test all the packages to make sure there's no stability issue in the final release so software wise this will be a trade-off when you use Debian based distro but since it's made for government offices all you want is a stable distro that gets the job done and boss Linux does that pretty well all right so now let me quickly give you a desktop tour the bottom bar is very similar to the taskbar of Windows with start menu on the left and system tray on the right now to make changes to the desktop you use settings app here you can make many adjustments let's go through some of them now all the available settings are divided in four categories appearance preferences hardware and administration now appearance lets you change the theme of the desktop so you can change the theme to uh, cinnamon original desktop which looks like this there's also a boss Linux custom theme called boss win to make it more windows like similarly you have boss crystal icon theme and if you're not satisfied with the available themes you can download new themes also from the internet by going to add remove themes now the background wallpaper can be changed by going to the background setting now apart from cinnamon wallpapers there are two custom boss Linux wallpaper also available next under preference you can do minute tweaking of the desktop like tweaking the panel settings the desktop icons can be added from the desktop menu these are pretty simple and easy tweaks that doesn't need much explanation you can try it out by yourself but one thing here that is little different and is hard to find is the HIDPS scaling option now if you have high resolution screen like a 4k display and want to take its full advantage you require HIDPS scaling turned on generally on Linux distro this setting is under display but in cinnamon desktop you will find this under general settings and there you have desktop scaling all right next under hardware you have very important printer settings adding a network printer is pretty easy you unlock printer settings and then go to add network printer and then enter the network IP address or the IP address of the printer it will search for printer and add automatically all right now let's talk about the softwares now there's a pretty decent list of pre-installed softwares available that will be sufficient for most day-to-day -day office work you have archive manager image viewer two browser Firefox and Chromium available complete LibreOffice suite is also pre-installed you also have VLC media player and even Wireshark is available in case you want to do network monitoring so I think the available softwares will suffice most office needs but in case you want to install or remove some softwares you can do that by using synaptic package manager now boss Linux have over 57,000 plus softwares available in its repos so software wise you should not have any problem there are two main repos used by boss Linux one is the general repo and the other is the security repo which contains all the security related updates now to update the system you can do it from synaptic package manager first click on reload here the softwares for which new updates are available are marked with a gold star the softwares that are already of latest version and doesn't have any new updates only have green box with no gold star and then click on mark all upgrades now after you click on mark then click apply 
Now this will update the system with all the latest updates. All right, now at last, let's talk about the availability of support in case you require any technical help. Well, on the website, there's no help material or guides available. There's a resource page, but it just have basic information related to FOSS. There's no user forum as well. And to make it worse, the feedback page also doesn't work. But there's a Google group for support. And this is the link. And I was going through it. The support team do respond to user issue, which is great. So in case you need any help for any specific issue, you can get it from here. But I think they could have at least made an installation guide on their website. All right, now the hardware requirement for running BOSS Linux 8 is 2 GHz of dual core processor or above 2 gigs of RAM and 40 gigs of hard disk space. But for a smoother experience you know, with Cinnamon desktop, I recommend at least 4 gigs of RAM. All right, so that was all for today. BOSS Linux 8 Unnati is definitely a huge upgrade over the last version. I'm actually impressed with this distro. It's a no-nonsense, rock-solid, stable Linux distro. If stable desktop experience is your number one priority, I highly recommend this distro to you. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, do type that in, in the comment box. A huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you for your support. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.